this man ana ota akichukua hii cha lakini sisi tumesema ngo hii chama tulifukuza yeye hey, mimi i was there jubilee house tukifukuza yeye hey. akaenda akashikana na wale kwetu tunawaita tugege <laughs> awa wakaingilia kina mama wakaenda kanisani wakaingilia vijana wetu wakajiita hasla wakasema kuna dynasty sawa sawa mnakumbuka hiyo sasa hawa 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 ambao walikuwa wanaita hasla na wengi wao ni marafiki zetu sasa ndio wanalia ama hapi mnajua mlikunywa mlikunywa mlikula mafuta mafuta is a skado examination is a skado eronino is a skado gachagua mwe kentraco company radia sitinei kenya post authority william ruto kemli ceo erija songok kenya cooperative kcc nixon sigei rafiki yangu nssf david kolos serious board john getich afc Agricultural and Food Authority not AFC Agricultural and Food Authority Cor- Coroneli Selem Kenya Seed Company Sami Kiprangat Nyayo Tizun Peter Kolil Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Eliud K Kiregel Kenya Meat Commission Joseph Kipto Kenya Dairy Board Margaret Kib- Kibochi Kenya Animal Seed uh, Genetic Resource David Koi Kios Export Processing Zone uh, Richard Cheluyot Kenya National Accreditation Services Martim Chesile Special Economic Zone Kenneth Chulile Insurance Regulatory Authority Godfrey Kiptum Kenya Deposit Insurance Heren Kipchumba Chepkuni Privatization Commission Joseph Kosigei Director General of Immigration Evelyn Chelugut Kenya Space Agency Hilary Kepkosgei Kenya Post Authority Sara Selem Kenya Water Towers Agency Julius Tanui Kenya Forestry Research Institute Joseph Cheboyo Tourism Regulatory Authority Nembet Talam North Rift Waterworks CEO Edwin Cherutich National Employment Authority Vincent Kigen Kenya Pipeline Chair Faith Boynet Sasa wewe umekaa hapa ukifikiria kuna kitu unajua This man ana ota akichukua hii cha lakini sisi tumesema ngo hii chama tulifukuza yeye hey, mimi i was there jubilee house tukifukuza yeye hey. akaenda akashikana na wale kwetu tunawaita tugege <laughs> Awa wakaingilia kina mama wakaenda kanisani wakaingilia vijana wetu wakajiita hasla wakasema kuna dynasty sawa sawa mnakumbuka hiyo sasa hawa 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 ambao walikuwa wanaita hasla na wengi wao ni marafiki zetu sasa ndio wanalia ama hapa hakuna kilio <laughs> eh huku kwetu gekomba river road Kirenyaga road let me tell you ile kilio iko Kenya hata kwake Kalenjin land si unaona wanalia Mount Kenya saa hii ime hii ime imeenda and the people are looking for an alternative home all right na hiyo home ni nini hiyo home ni wapi na ndio sababu sikioni atawaambia ile utaratibu ambao tutaanzisha ya ku rejuvenate this part okay jana nimepata bahati nikakaa na wazee kidogo wakakupatia briefing ya ile maneno inaendelea hapa na nimependa sana vile Virginia ameongea because we are not here to create animosity okay sisi tunajua amu ama lamu watu wamekuwa wakikaa kwa ama kwa amani 
na hata hiyo vurugu tunazikia inachochewa kutoka wapi kutoka nje na msiambiwe ni al shabab sawa sawa tunajua iko wapi kazi ya serikali ni gani kazi ya serikali is to protect life and and property na ndio tukasema kama wameshindwa na hii kazi ya ku protect life and property we are going to take it in our own sisi wenyewe tuta na kindiki asikie kwani uhuru walikuwa anafanya nini ya yeah? si uhuru was ikipigwa pahali mnaona wame ama namna gani kwa nini wamenyamaza ama wao ndio wenye hii kitu we are telling them na mimi siogopi hawatauza uoga hapa lamu na nyinyi mzikuwe waoga sawa sawa na wakishindwa kuwalinda na hapa mbele ya Mungu tutakuja na hata hawa wazee wetu ambao wanaweka hiyo maneno mtandao sijui unawaita nini wewe ati ya nati si umesema wewe pia ni munati sijui mmeelewa wasikubali tuombanishwe sisi tungetaka kuishi pamoja kwa ama hii maneno mliona ilianza kidogo kidogo 92 huko Molo ikaenda kidogo kidogo 97 tuo tu hakukua because uhuru was competing against Kibaki sawa sawa 207 what happened in this country would you like us to go back there no hata hao wazee nimeona kwa mtandao na we yasi nur tunakutuma wewe that is provocation wakuje tuketi hata nyinyi muko na wazee hapa si ndio kama kuna mtu wako na shida muitane we mogo eh you sit mwambieni karibuni tuketi tuonge sawa sawa nur na we pia ukuje ufanye hiyo kikao you are the deputy secretary general of this party you convene yeah Wa, waitwe hata saa hii ndio tungetaka kwenda mapema nataka kwenda kuona gavana yenu timami yeah <laughs> nimuulize hii maneno inafanyika aje akiwa kwa kiti Amen. sawa sawa <laughs> na ni rafiki yangu isipokuwa ako ANC right si huyo alikuwa deputy yake kwa hivyo tuambiane ukwe enough enough na hiyo serikali tunawaambia we are watching juzi nimesikia wakisema they are going to enhance security in lamu hata sasa hii tumekuja tumekuta kama magari maine matano kwa barabara wanajua tuko hapa sasa wanataka kutuonyesha ati wako na ulidaji wa usala Me, I don't play those games. Yeah? <laughs> na mimi sina mchezo. Na mimi siogopi kitu. Na ndio tunaambia huyo baba hata huyo Kalonzo kama hawajipangi kutoa hawa watu 2027. Yes. Si hata huyu kioni anatosha. Yes. Allah. Yes. Si hata mimi ninatosha. Yes. I can go for it. Ala? Ala? Kwani iko nini? Eh? Wajipa? Wajipange. Ama namna gani? Na pili, nataka kuambia Ruto, William Ruto will not run on Uda. Hata kuwa na Uda 2027. Kama hiyo kwa hivyo kama wewe unafikiria hapo ni nyumbani pia umepotea utaachwa kule kwa mataa La tatu William Ruto is a one term president hawezi pata la pili Kwa hivyo kama ujui nyumbani ni wapi uliza wale ambao wanajua wanajua na nyumbani ni jubilee Mtu akifanya mambo kama haya na sasa hii amewasalimia 
nimesikia kwa Djibouti. <laughs> Ruto ameenda Djibouti. Hiyo ni country ya 44. Sasa hako Djibouti. Muzari anaye, muzari anaye yako, yako Radan. Ku celebrate 60 years ya Kenya. Hai celebrate hapa. Wanaenda kule. Hapa Kenya imekuwa ni pahali ya kuja kuja mchana. Wanaenda kulala huko. Imekuwa kama pahali ya wanyamapori. It's a game reserve. Wanakuja mche, usi, mchana usiku wanarara kuigineko. Kenyan CEO Abraham Serem. Kenya Power CEO Joseph Sirol. Kenya Pipeline CEO Joe Sang. Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Agency CEO Daniel Kipto rafiki yangu. Kentraco Company Radia Sitinei. Kenya Post Authority William Ruto. Kemli CEO Elijah Songok. Kenya Cooperative KCC Nixon Sigei rafiki yangu. NSSF David Kolos, Serious Board John Getich, AFC Agricultural and Food Authority not AFC Agricultural and Food Authority Cor Coroneli Selem, Kenya Seed Company Sami Kiprangat, Nyayo Tizun Peter Kolil, Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Eliud K Kiregel, Kenya Meat Commission Joseph Kipto. Kenya Dairy Board Margaret Kibochi Kenya Animal Seed uh, Genetic Resource David Kios Export Processing Zone uh, Richard Cheluyot Kenya National Accreditation Services Martim Chesile Special Economic Zone Kenneth Chulile Insurance Regulatory Authority Godfrey Kiptum Kenya Deposit Insurance Heren Kipchumba Chepkuni Privatization Commission Joseph Kosigei Director General of Immigration Evelyn Chedugut Kenya Space Agency Hilary Kosigei Kenya Post Authority Sarah Selem Kenya Water Towers Agency Julius Tanui Kenya Forestry Research Institute Joseph Cheboyo Tourism Regulatory Authority Nembe Talam North Rift Waterworks CEO Edwin Cherutich National Employment Authority Vincent Kigen Kenya Pipeline Chair Faith Boynet Aya happy my shareholders Sasa wewe umekaa hapa ukifikiria kuna kitu unajua Na unasema wewe ni chair shareholder Hello Unajua mimi ni nimekuja kwa sababu ya chama ya jubili na mimi kama ni naogea mambo ya chama ya jubili lazima nijue wale wengine vile wanafaa wanafanya sasa hii mnasema hii kitu ya hurubaru wamewekelea KICC kwa hurubaru KICC kwa hurubaru Kenya Seed kwa hurubaru Kenya Pipeline kwa hurubaru Moya Rice Mills kwa hurubaru National kwa hurubaru National manufacturers vehicle manufacturers kwa hurubaru numericos kwa hurubaru wewe mwenyewe kwa kichwa yako kuna pari tunaenda kuna pari tunaenda hakuna kwa hivyo ni kujipanga kama jubilee kujipaka ki sawa sawa na ile huyu jamaa Keva amesema haitafanyika tena Haitafanyika tena hiyo mambo ya kusema zoning haitafanyika vile mradi amesema ni kupabana sawa sawa we all want to be strong at the national level ya yeah? angalia evidence ya watu ambao hawajui tunafanya nini unafukuza mtu anaenda anakumwaga pande ile ingine unafukuza tena anakumwaga tena those are not the things we want anymore jamani Jamaa ametebea Kenya dunia hii 44 times. 44 times. In one year. Deni ambayo amewekelea kwa sisi saa hii 4.6 trillion shillings. Na alikuwa anasema ati Uhuru amekopa pesa. Uhuru alikopa na akatengeneza highway hii ya kutoka Mombasa kuja mpaka hapa. Sasa goja vile mtatsubuka kutengeneza pahali imekatika. Mtasubuana hapa mwelewe 
Hii kitu inaitwa uda ilikuja kama covid. Ilikuja tu kama ugonjwa wa covid inapata kila kila mtu hivi na mwenye. Watu sasa waanze kufikiria. Hapo hakuna chama waambie wawe na mkutano wa amani kama hii popote Kenya. Wakieda vita. Tumekuwa Muranga, tumekuwa Meru, tumekuwa na Nairobi, Mombasa imefanya hatujaona vi vita. Na ni mapema, tunasema mapema dio best. Ile kitu unataka kutafuta, anza kutafuta saa saa hii. Tujue ya kwamba Jomo anataka tikiti ya wodi gani. Huyu eh, Basoda anataka tikiti ya wapi? Keva atakufia wapi? Tumeambiwa mfita tuko na mambo kama hayo ndio tunataka kuyasikia sasa. Na sisi tunajipanga kwenda 2027. Halo? Tuko pamoja? Eh. Yeah. Nyinyi mnaona namna gani? Siji naangalia naona kama watuko pamoja. <laughs> Mtu anapata ndege kwenda kuuza, kuuza chita. Idia, ati anaenda kuambia mudi tuko na wanyama chita ni wengi tutakuuzia. Nafikiri hii style alitoa kwa Hajakoya. Unajua Hajakoya? Hajakoya alisema ati visa hii iko na kengere na iko na market huko nje. Na nafikiri anaanza kufuata hiyo market ya kengere iko hapo. Saa hii Bugeni kuna sheria ambayo imechapishwa ime na imewekwa sahihi na ichungwa. Kijana mwingine sijui kichwa ilipotelea wapi. Kichwa imeenda kabisa. Wewe unaweza chukua hii kitu useme Eden mkaibe kodoko kwa uhuru. Alafu unaenda Bugeni kusema you are the leader of majority. Mwizi. If you tell others to go and steal that they steal, you are also a thief. Kuna sheria ambayo ndio mjue lazima tujimudu haraka na tuseme kama vile chama amesema inavis enough kama vile tumesema vita lamu inavis enough you can't keep killing people na pia ni vizuri ujue kama hiyo sheria nimeona imeandikishwa it's written land law amendment bill ilifika bugeni october 30th mwaka huu inasema ya kwamba watu warudi eh, 15th June 1895 15th June 1895 tuanze kuangalia historical injustice kama ulitolewa chamba pahali na mzungu na alipokuwa naondoka hako kurudishia sasa wewe unaweza kwenda pale na kusema hiyo chamba ni yako unasema haitaleta vita kwani wanataka nini si wanataka vita wanataka vita The kanuni survive in a place where there is wo so sisi wakaaji wa eneo lolote Kenya hii lazima tuamue kuishi kwa amani kwa sababu hii mfurugo furugo unafikiri kidogo kidogo hamna mtu unaweza toa popote kwangu nyumbani wale ambao tuko na wao pale ni watu kutoka Kakamega na wana wao ni hatari wanasalisha huko haraka haraka sana Sio hii watu wengine akina kama huyu anatembea tembea kujaribu jaribu na kumiss hakuna hao ni haraka haraka pa 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 Na ndio ndio Na siwezi kwenda kuambia ati muondoke muende wapi Kakamega I'll be the most stupid fella that has ever been born In this country called Kenya there is nobody unaweza abia toka hapa we wende Na ukijaribu utakuwa wewe utakufia hapo Sasa hii nimetoka nime pale nimetoka kwa dege kijana mwenye amekuja kuniambia nibe mimi naitwa Menita ameniambia kanaitwa nani Nganga Ananiambia wewe wewe ulikuwa mbunge ya chocho yangu na nikamjua hata nyanya yake Lakini kameniambia kalizaliwa hapa hakajui kuingine ukimwambia aende atakuua pia kwa sababu hakuna pahali ana anaenda So don't try something you cannot finish na tuwape kudanganywa hapa ati kuna ushababu. Hiyo si mambo ya ushababu. Mm. Na Dware. Wewe Dware. Tawe tunakuangalia sana. We also know. We also know. Na wewe pia tunakuona. We also know. Kwa hivyo tunataka 
Kenya ya amani. Na ili hii mambo iende sababa. Tafadhali, hawa watu wamebakisha miaka tatu, miezi nane na siku mbili. <laughs> Uchaguzi ni tarehe kumi, mwezi wa nane, 2027. Mia, miezi nane, siku mbili. Na leo imeenda imebaki siku moja tuingie miezi saba We count days for them waondoke there is nothing they are going to achieve for this country zile pesa wanaokota ni nyingi kuliko zile ziliokotwa na uhu na uhuru na hamutaona highway hata hii mgoje ikijaa machimu pothole ndio utaanza kusikia uchungu hawatafanya kitu they are just stealing they have sahi wewe niambie duku vile ile kazi imefanywa na makoha na matiang ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba elimu yetu inaheshimika kila pahali ya Kenya hii one day wamechapisha siku moja wamepachapisha exam hapa river road one day so you do not you don't even know whether the mark ambayo mtoto wako amepatia ni ya ukweli na ukiharibu certificate ya mtu katika standard eight of form 4 ni maisha huyo jamaa umemobomoa Ezakiwari genocide. Na ndio nilikuwa nasema juzi lakini sasa kuingilia hapo kwanza nitarudi baadaye. Nyinyi wakaaji walamu. Ni nyinyi muamue kuishi kwa amani kwanza. Ya pili wale ambao walikuwa wameregea regea mguu na mna hii wameenda huko. Rudi nyumba nyumbani na nyumbani ni jubilee. Jubilee tutakuwa na wabunge kila sehemu ya Kenya hii. Na ni kwa nini tumekuja na wale ambao walichaguliwa kwa chama ya jubilee ambao ni MCA siji kama tunao hata mmoja lakini tuko na wabunge na senator na wengine wote walialikwa kuja katika kikao hiki unapochaguliwa wewe unakuwa chombo cha wale ambao walifanya nini walikuchagua walichaguliwa kwa chama cha jubilee so sisi kama viongozi wa jubilee we felt ama tulisikia ni lazima tuje tusije tukawaachilia watu kama viongozi ambao walichaguliwa kwa chama ya jubilee wamekimia lazima chama isugumu isugumze tumnaelewana na tutakuja tena na na tena we cannot allow people who are members of our party to serve anywhere in this country we will come as a party sijui kama hapo monument but we have a responsibility of our members of jubilee everywhere in this country Jana nimetumekuwa tukiongea na, na viongozi wa Kakamega sababu pia wanataka twende kule we make sure that we have a regional uh, party that is moving on. We will be everywhere. Na waragai ambao wametajwa na, na chama na hapa, hawa vijana na mama wanatebea tebea ovyo ovyo. We do not want political party prostitution. Kwenda upeleke huo malaya wa siasa pali ingine. We don't want it kwa siasa. Sababu kama sio wao haya haya mnaona tukifanya leo tungekuwa tumefanya last year. We will be much we will be so ahead this is what we wanted to do but they have wasted a whole of our year lakini eh, mwenyezi Mungu pia kwa biblia anasema kwamba ataturudia zile ziko ambazo ziliuliwa na zige nipe hii kitu niweke kalamu kidogo muko na skados gapi mnajua mlikunywa mlikunywa mlikula mafuta Mafuta 